This has nothing to do with probably George's crowd. No, but, but there is a reason why they have this sign on the wall over here. Boom. And that's because Atmos. George the Tech. Hey everybody, George the Tech here at NAB 2024 and finally I made the source elements and there's something going on different here. There's guitar happening. So oh. why am I seeing your hand move and then I'm hearing it on speakers? I'm confused. Here to explain everything. <laughs> Hello, Robert. I'm Robert. What's up, man? Good, man. How, How you doing, doing, George? So what's happening? What is going on at Source Elements? We are we're basically showing our remote overdub product and um, this could be with picture and video, but and like ADR, but here we're going to show it with a guitar track. And the idea is that we can stream audio straight out of our workstation to the talent. The talent can hear that. It comes back to the workstation, and we see it, hear it in sync, and it's recorded in the workstation, but inevitably it's out of sync because that's the way physics works. And then a moment later... Speed the, of light, you know, all yeah, that kind you know, of stuff. A couple things that are easily fixed in a little while <laughs> but then the file snaps back into place and you can overdub or do ADR without using worrying about time code and and syncing files back and forth you can literally just work as if the talent is on the other side of the glass yeah I was gonna say because we've been doing this kind of stuff in, in various forms for years right so the difference here is is how easy it is to yeah the, manage, the, right? the, the difference is before you had to sync streams or, or sync timelines so you'd have to have the music or the video on the talent side and then you were controlling things and sending time code back to lock up to it but now what we're basically doing is kind of delay compensation which is what um, you know it's happening inside your workstation but we're doing this on on an internet scale essentially right, right so right. Um, so yeah. tell us about the demo that we're doing. Like how, what's the whole, what's the 10,000 foot view of what we're doing here with Vincent so, on the guitar? So we got a little audio track here, just some guitar tracks that he's done previously. We're gonna overdub some other tracks on top of that. Yeah. Um, and like I said, Vincent is technically right next to us, but you can pretend he's, pretend any, he's far, anywhere far else away. in the world, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause he's literally connected to me over the internet. Um, it might only be going up to someplace in Vegas and back, but it's technically up to the internet and back. And that's where all that latency comes from. But here I'm going to hit record. He's going to hear the click. And he should... So I'm gonna hit stop here. Now watch the waveform. And boom, now it's in sync. And we can punch in. Vincent, I'm gonna punch you in after the um, those stops. Let me put this in quick punch mode. One second. It is in quick punch mode. I'll hit stop there. So we can overdub as if he's on the other side of the glass. There was no, oh, let me send you an update file. Let me wait for that to chase. All we do is connect on Source Connect, click a button, it calculates the latency, and you're ready to record. And then all the other good stuff like auto restore and auto replace that guarantees the recording's perfect, gives you the uncompressed quality once you're done with everything without having to do anything else. That is. At least one of the cool things we're doing. That's just one. But wait, That's there's one. more. But wait, there's more. So um, you want to try to switch over to Atmos? Oh, yeah. This has nothing to do with probably George's crowd. No, but, but there is a reason why they have this sign on the wall over here. Boom. And that's because Atmos. So what we're doing, if, if, if you know what Atmos is, it's, a, it's the latest generation of surround sound technology. And the idea is that the, the allure of it is that there's one mix and no matter where you send that mix, it will play for the optimal 
speakers available at that location. And what happens is you have, say, a feature film being mixed, and the director wants to review this from their house. They don't want to go all the way to the studio. So the studio might be working with a 22-speaker Atmos system, right. but the director at home might only have a 13 or 12-speaker Atmos system. What traditionally happened is the big stage with all 20 million speakers has to render down to the least common denominator what the director has. What we have now, just working directly with Dolby, is we can stream the completely unrendered raw Atmos across the internet, which means that we're sending theoretically up to 128 channels. The bed in Atmos, all the objects, which are the things that move around, and the metadata, which controls all those things, they all go over, in this case, to Vincent's computer of the internet, and then that system renders it for the local player. So if we um, go ahead That's and show amazing. this, let me make sure we got our Atmos renderer. And I probably got to assign a few things. These are all the fun Atmos things that you got to set There's up. There's so much going on here, you guys. You have no idea. Is that Source Mac? That's <laughs> bottom one. Bottom one? OK. And if I play this now, so you'll see those are all the objects flying around. Each green ball represents a track or uh, an a, instrument or an both. object. Other oh, objects. A combination of track and position. Right. And so over here, I'm going to go to Source Connect, and I'm going to switch my connection on the fly to not stereo, but in this case, 24 channels of audio. And my input is going to be switched over to Nexus A. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to select my renderer. You'll see on his laptop. And I'll switch over to my Atmos version. That's the fun screen. So the limit here is just really your bandwidth at the end of the day. At the end of the day, yeah. I mean, this can suck it up because, you know, in theory, a big feature film, there's like, you know, 128 channels of streaming in real time. But if you're working between a uh, established studio facility, they're going to have fiber probably. This is, yeah. I mean, we're talking you know. about series that have gigabit and more connections. Right. And um, so then... He's selected his renderer. He's receiving on Source Connect. So you're on the receiving end of this whole thing. Yes. So you can see here, uh, he, Robert's, Robert's connection is coming in here. Those are all the Atmos objects and the metadata. And I'm rendering that through this, to the this Dolby is the, Atmos This is called render. the Dolby renderer. This is not our software, but right, we're... Right. That's the plug-in. So the cool thing about all of this is that we can get all of this unrendered from one system to another, yeah. meaning that you can expand based on the location. Your system doesn't have to be dumbed down for someone else's system, That's, which is awesome okay. for Atmos. Yeah. And people that are at a show like this understand why that's important. You guys may not. <laughs> and and <laughs> But this is what's so impressive. And is this the kind of technology that's earned you guys a nomination? I would say so. Yeah. Well, congratulations yeah. for that, too. Uh, I was going to yeah. throw one more thing there. We can send one stream to someone who's rendering it on their 5.1, another stream rendering someone on 7.14, another producer logs in, they can render it down to binaural. We can send this out to, uh, currently with Source Connect 4, will be five, four extra people, but how much bandwidth do you have? <laughs> And, and you can have all yes. those people. Yeah. And, and I guess the other limit is system, but Silicon Max and everything, all the yep. modern oh, yeah. machines can oh, handle it without yeah. breaking a sweat, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah, we're really proud of this. This is it's, awesome. it's native. You don't have to have a ginormous rack of, of uh, what? Pro Tools HDX Ex uh, No, stuff. this is all native. I mean, you used, native. To have, you used to have this thing called the RMU, which was the Dolby Remote Rendering Unit or something. Remote mastering unit, right. So mastering. so it's now, it's all getting in the box, so it's, to speak. It's in that. Literally. In that, <laughs> in that box. In that yeah. box, yeah. That's well, pretty slick. I got to tell you, I'm really impressed. It's great seeing what you've been... <laughs> Thank you. You know, because we do a show together, and we talk about, this mic sounds nice. How about this? You know, right. and then to see what you're doing on the other side, you know, yep. it's really impressive, and we know why you're stressed out all the time. <laughs> Is that why? Now we get it. Okay. Explain me for that. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah.
That's all my fault. <laughs> hey, it's been nice to see it. Uh, congrats. I'm glad to see you here at NAB. Yeah. This is a good reminder for me to not miss any more NABs. This is the place this to be. This is the place to be. Yeah. And, I, and I think this is our best booth ever, actually. Look at this carpet. Yeah. The carpet. And those it Says it all right there. And this and this lamp. This lamp is it's, it's cozy. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, right. George. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.